Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 16th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, a look at our world weather. Starting out here, looking at our sun, the last 48 hours of imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, still observing that northwestern region cresting that is the only active region right now, and it has produced over a dozen flares. That's right, a dozen flares over the past 24 hours. There was an elongated M-class solar flare, and you can see this thing is just going off right now. About 12 M to B-class solar flares. Looking at outgoing imagery here, large plasma filament, northern hemisphere, and southern hemisphere Southern one lifting away, northern one hanging about on the left-hand side. Another quick look at this very active region, and as well, a couple of minor sunspots that are starting to form on the Earth-facing surface of the sun. Still an amazing active region coming. Looking at a different light here. Even in the southern hemisphere, this active region, definitely something to keep an eye on. Having a quick look at multi-spectrum, showing all of the latest events the last 48 hours on the sun. A couple newly formed sunspots in the Earth-facing position, lighting up. 171 angstroms here showing darkened regions, which are the coronal holes, which can increase our solar wind speeds. And we have two that are developing in the equatorial region. Something I wanted to note here is the sunspot totals, which are dramatically increased, which have dramatically increased over the last little while, higher, much higher than its predicted values, almost, well, 78 monthly values, a predicted of 34. So we are definitely seeing a great increase in succession of sunspots, solar cycle 25. Looking at our solar x-ray flux right now, as you can see, very uh, excited. Solar x-ray flux, geomagnetic activity remains minor. Here is your DB absorption map showing where the electricity the energy was thwarted. Having a look here at Lasco 3, this shows all of the energy coming from the sun. Plasma streams, solar streams. Having a look at our solar winds, right now we're coming in at 556 kilometers per second after being jacked up to over 633 kilometers per second. We were expecting this with the last few space weather events. But look at that. Just all over the place right now. Density, solar wind, temperature. Iswa Space Prediction Spiral showing quite an event taking off from the back side of our sun. Heading towards Parker Solar Probe. As well, noting here that we are in the middle of that solar storm, which was forecasted here the last few days with daily events worldwide. This is the NOAA space prediction spiral. As you can see, by the 21st, 22nd, we do have some more on its way. The little green circle there is Earth. Watching a huge injection here and that's going to be coming in 19th to the 20th schumann right resonance for today is a power of 24 one notch lower than yesterday most of the energy was this afternoon so an amplitude of 24 quality of 8.1 and a power of 15. now let's get to earthquakes here as it's been Average day for earthquakes across the world, about 240 earthquakes across the USGS map, but it looks pretty minimal here. 
especially for large earthquakes. Our largest earthquake here to report is the 5.0 right now. So El Salvador reporting a 5.0, 68-kilometer depth. Caribbean plate seeing some minor activity, largest being a 3.0. Rare earthquake here to report in Cranberry Isles in Maine, 2.6, as well as 2.5 there. Missouri, minor activity across California up into Petrolia. And seismicity quieting down here a little bit at Hawaii after the caldera definitely did leak out a little bit of pressure. This is a look at the last 24 hours of the summit caldera of Kilauea volcano. This is the active lava lake. That's the most recent view. Carrying on here to Alaska, Nikolskoy, Alaska, 4.1 earthquake, 41 kilometer depth, as well minor activity all around. Pavlov a volcano, looking at 4.7 here, Kuril Islands, as well as 4.5, Japan, Izu Islands, and that was yesterday after the report, that is the deepest last 24 hours. 4.6 here in Sichuan, China, as well 4.6 here today, 461 kilometer depth, that is the deepest today. As well, 4.2 Indonesia and 4.6 Philippines. So definitely active region through Banda Sea and quiet here until I was doing the report and then two earthquakes came in here. 5.3 southeast of Loyalty Islands, 10 kilometer depth as well, reporting of 4.9 Kermadec Islands. So that is the most recent earthquakes. They just happened. Carrying on here to South America. Minor seismicity throughout the region, 5.0, Valparaiso, Chile. Hasn't been an earthquake there for quite some time. Minor earthquakes moving up through Chile. 4.7 here to report as well. Cathira, Greece. And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Quick look here at the last seven days across the planet as we are seeing increased seismicity through the Pacific and as well up into China over into Europe. Quiet through the Southern Hemisphere right now. In the last seven days, our largest earthquake has been a 5.5, I believe, maybe a 5.9. So we are expecting a larger shallower earthquake to come here pretty quick. So stay aware, prepared. No fear here. This is all about being ready. Have a plan. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well most recent volcanoes getting updated. Starting out here with the Nevadas de Rules in Colombia. A lot of fires that are breaking out across Russia right now. I'll show you that. Sangue in Ecuador, Dokono in Indonesia, Sabincaya in Peru, Fuego in Guatemala, Shevelich, Russia, Swiss and Ajima, Japan. A lot of flood alerts across the United States after those storms came through last night, dropping an F4 tornado through Arkansas. Reventador in Ecuador. Semeru, Indonesia. Just awakened again 15 hours ago. Krakatoa, Indonesia. Popo in Mexico. Nevadas to Chilean, Colombia. So yeah, that's about 13 volcanoes getting updated today. So active planet, indeed. And still observing this huge system over the... North American continent stretches from Alberta to the Atlantic coast. Long line of moisture coming with that low pressure system. Typhoon Malacus is no longer a tropical system as it quickly jotted northward towards Kamchatka. Overlooking the rest of the country, rest of the world here for weather. Pretty big system heading into Parts of Greece and Turkey as well. Wildfires here breaking out in Russia. Looks to be a couple dozen of them breaking out. Looking at satellite imagery, NASA worldview here. That is all the fire smoke. Got dozens of fires breaking out. Now let's have a look at weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky and as well daily events worldwide. 
Extreme weather moving into southeastern United States, long line of moisture and a strong system heading into the Atlantic provinces the next couple days. As well, 18th into the 19th, watch for a very potent and dangerous storm here moving up the southeast coastline of the United States. This is a very dangerous nor'easter. Please share this video with your friends and family so they can be aware and prepared as well. And that's going to move straight up into the Atlantic provinces by the 20th. And then by the 18th and 19th, you've got also a winter storm developing through the Canadian provinces. And as well, lots of rain heading into the west coast as far south as Southern California. So maybe a little bit of relief coming overlooking South America. Got some extreme weather heading to you by the 23rd. Africa, no major changes. Overlooking Europe. Strong system heading out later in the week in parts of Eastern Europe as well as Central here. And then two low pressure systems heading into Spain for the long range. Overlooking Asia, Indonesia, and Malaysia. Malacca has been downgraded and moved north. Now we've got some more tropical systems here developing in the long range forecast. One west of Australia, one east of the Philippines. Going into the 27th, 28th, got a pretty big system here developing. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button and share it with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.